Hey friends, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. We have the cutest little stamp set with these birdies. It's called Lovely Birdies. And back when it came out, we had a lot of questions about how do you stamp them because they don't line up perfectly. Well, you guys, we did that on purpose. They have a fun, whimsical, wonky feel to them. They are absolutely adorable and I'm going to show you how to use them. These were originally part of our Circe subscription where subscribers get two stamp sets at the basic level. At the deluxe level, they get two sets of dies and occasionally we add a freebie set of dies in there. And this was one of the months with the freebie. So they got the Birdies Branch die for free. If you're interested in learning more and subscribing to this fantastic subscription program, I'll add the link below in this YouTube video. Here are some gorgeous cards made by our brand ambassadors, Alina and Lisa. You can see so many great ways to use these stamps. I will add these to the blog post. So if you're on YouTube, you can click the link below and head over there. So let's get to the business of stamping these fun stamps. So I'm going for the vine first, just in midnight black ink. And then we're going to take the little leaves to stamp in and fill in that color. So when I stamp them, you can see that they don't line up perfectly. And there are even leaves that don't have a black outline at all. So it's this fun, whimsical, kind of wonky feel to these stamps. So now we'll perch a few birds up on the vines and starting with the black outlines and then stamping the layer inside. So you could go ahead and color with watercolors or Copic markers or colored pencils. That is a great way to use these stamps. And that's one of the things we love about stamps like this. They're kind of double duty. So you have outline or then like I'm doing here, you can just stamp the color right on the inside. There are more than one ways or there is more than one way to color these so you could do with a solid color i did catching rays and fiesta blue and now using my mini ink pads i'm going to do a multicolor look on this one little bird so the blue on the bottom that's something borrowed and then fiesta or flirty fuchsia on the top you'll notice there's a little bit of line between the colors so if you grab a blending brush you can uh, buff out that line and smooth it out and get a little bit of color blend between the two. So it actually makes a third color here. You can stamp the black outline first and then stamp the filler stamp inside, or you can do it the other way around and I'll show you that as well. But before we do that, we're going to do party dress and catching rays. And between the two colors, you'll see a gorgeous orange shade that was created. So people like to stamp in different ways. Maybe you like to do the outline first and then stamp the filler on top of it or vice versa. And some people like to stamp their images and then die cut, but you can also die cut and then stamp your images on top. So we're gonna look at both ways. And actually, sometimes it depends on the particular stamp. There are certain stamps that, for instance, if I had a pineapple that had a separate bottom and top and I had a die cut for that, if I stamp the bottom and top and then die cut, I may stamp the top at an angle and it won't line up with the die cut. So a, a instance like that, I'd want to die cut and then stamp. These birds, really, you can do them either way. So now I'm just stamping the outline first and then I'm going to do the filler image right on top in several different colors. These lovely birdie stamps are so adorable. They're really fun to play with. You can stamp them in all sorts of different colors for fun, bright, cheerful cards. I know you're gonna love playing with this set. If you haven't grabbed it already, use the links below to head over to the shop and check them out there. Let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel while you're here. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, your support always means the world to us. We are so happy you're, you're here with us on YouTube. Have a great day.